I'm Nicholas with Maple Power Systems. Here we're looking at um, it's not a radar. This is a rooftop water-cooled marine um, air conditioner. So this is the latest product that we've uh, we've come up with. We now have this unit ready for um, ready for delivery. We begin production on these units. So it's a 12,000 BTU, 12 volt unit. Um, but rather than being mounted inside of a cabin. The, the idea behind this is to be able to be mounted on a hard top. Um, so the common issue with that is most rooftop units or all rooftop units that exist right now, whether they're called marine units or not, they are based on a concept of more of a caravan RV type air conditioner. That's an air cooled air conditioner. Um, so you're still dealing with an old evaporator that exposed to salt water is not going to last very long. So we were looking for a solution as far as what we could do. We had some demand for rooftop air conditioners. And what we came up with was something that was more aesthetically pleasing. The, uh, the boating world, yachting world, um, has become very accustomed to seeing these type domes on top of the, the center console boats, pilot boats. Um, for navigational purposes, so it's not something that's hurtful to the eye as much as a, a boxy, regular type air conditioner. Um, once again, it's a 12,000 BTU, so it's a very similar concept to our 12,000 BTU 12 volt that's already been tried and proven. Um, if you want to look at the innards of it, this little top comes off. We have our blower here, evaporator, 12 volt circuit board, compressor, so the only difference with this compressor versus our standard compressor is that this is going to be a horizontally mounted compressor. Um, clearly it's very quiet. The unit is running right now. So this is going to be the noise of the unit running. Um, on this back end over here we have two hoses. So this is going to be our water in or our water out. The condensation can either drain straight on the top of the boat and then drain out the side or however um, the draining of the top works or um, we have a little bit of pipe sticking out that you can connect the hose to and have a separate drain for it that wouldn't be on the, uh, on the top. We retain the copper fin evaporators, just once again for that added longevity. Um, this will not be exposed, we'll say, to the elements once this is closed up. Short of the boat flipping over and sinking, um, or flipping over, uh, there, it, there wouldn't be any water ingress into this area. There should be no salt water in this compartment here. Um, and the idea behind this is we're sucking air from the bottom, we're blowing air from the top. So uh, once again, that center console, you can have a unit mounted on top of your head and blowing that air on top of your head. We saw a lot of deficiencies on different sport fishing boats, once again, center console boats, pilot boats, when they have this, this helm type air conditioning, the issue is that the helm, there's so many other devices, there's gauges to look at, there's multifunction displays, um, there's switches that operate a bunch of different devices on the boat, the windlass, searchlight. So usually you don't have very much room on the dash to be able to put uh, proper vents and what tends to happen is vents are put in, in inappropriate locations. They're put under seats, uh, blowing away from the people. Um, they're located in poor places. They're located in a cabin to blow towards the helm. So I'm taking cold air from the cabin, then I'm blowing it outside to an exterior environment. In doing that, causing a negative pressure in the cabin, so forcing the hot, humid air from the exterior into the vessel, thus destroying the air conditioning of the cabin. So this is the solution they came up with. It's, it's a pretty easy installation. Really all it is is a cutout. We're gonna have this device here. This is the backing plate for the, uh, for the unit. So this would be mounted on the top of the, on the, top of the hard top then we would have this mounted underneath the hardtop and then in these four screws we have the matching holes on the bottom of this pan here and so this is sandwiching like that the, um, the radar unit to the hardtop of the boat.
and then the boat builder can decide what they want to do with the other side of this, if they want to vent it, if they want to change anything, but this can be mounted just like this, blowing straight down and then returning straight up. So it's just that cutout, running the hoses to the top, finding a placement for your digital control, and uh, of course we still do have seawater cooling, so we'd have to find, we'd have to do the through hole and all those pickups, but the pump that comes with it is certainly capable. We can go up to 25 feet of head, so we don't foresee any issues going to the hard tops and reduce cooling or anything along those lines. And as far as the functionality goes, it would still be very similar, very similar functionality to our standard 12 volt unit, uh, 12,000 BTU. So we have the range in power. It can run at full speed. Right now I'm running it on full speed in the warehouse. Uh, we have a return temperature right now of 86 degrees, which is reading the air going back into the unit. Um, I'm drawing 30, 38 amps. This is once again at full speed. It might now take the thermostat and go to raise my and match the ambient temperature. I had it set for 77. I'm now going to set it for 86 that I was reading over there. I don't know if you could hear that, but the compressor just kicked down one time. So my amperage has already dropped down to 20, 27 amps. Now I can hear the fan starting to slow down. So I'm down to 25.9. And I've seen this unit go as low as um, about 20 amps. This is not counting the pump right now, so we're gonna be close to about that 40 amp range that we're seeing on the 12 DC. And we can expect very similar performance as we do with that 12 DC. And the, the main thing with this is we now have the solution. We want to talk about it. We'll go a little bit more into detail about this. Um, and I guess comment if you have any questions or you can send us an email to uh, sales at Maven Marine and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Like I said, we do have them ready. We have them available for, uh, for immediate delivery. So if you're interested, just, uh, just let us know. Thanks for watching.